Hi boys and girls, I'm gonna take you on a walk in our nature play area to sing the good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with smiles on our faces. And this is the way to start our new day. Good morning. Good morning, Bracken. Good morning, Calliel. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, McKenna. Good morning, Jasper. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Campbell. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Ari. Good morning, Louie. We'll go over to this snack table. Good morning, Kerrigan. Good morning, Lana. Good morning, Grady. Good morning, Hutton. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Cooper. Good morning, Jonah. Good morning, Tegan. Good morning, Corbin. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Theo. Good morning, Hazel. And good morning, Gus. Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Joan did English with you yesterday, so we are going to do Spanish again today for the calendar. Days of the week. 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 There's Domingo and there's Lunes, there's Martes and Miércoles, there's Jueves and Viernes, and then there's Sabado. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. <coughs> okay, what day is it today? I think you can see that. What day is it today? There's Domingo and there's Lunes, there's Martes and Miércoles, there's Jueves and... Very good, Viernes. Viernes, or Friday in English. Hoy es Viernes. If today is Viernes, what was yesterday? What comes before Viernes? There's Domingo and there's Lunes, there's Martes and Miércoles. There's, very good, Jueves or Thursday in English. Ayer es jueves. If today is viernes, what will tomorrow be? There's domingo and there's lunes, there's martes and miércoles, there's jueves and viernes, and then there's sabado, very good, sabado, or Saturday in English. Mañana es sabado. Okay, boys and girls, take a look outside. What's it doing out there? Is it raining, windy, cloudy, sunny? Let me know and have a good weekend. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about states of matter. Matter is something that's a little tricky to learn about, but matter is anything that's around us. And it can be in three forms. So I remember doing this in preschool with you, but let's go over these three forms. First, it's a solid. Hear that? It's a solid, a liquid, which would be in here. So if I do this, you can see that it's water, right? It's water. It gets you wet. That's a liquid. Could be juice, could be milk, but that is a liquid. Or let's go back to this one. What's inside of this? It's nothing really, but there is something. It's a gas. Gas is something that fills the air, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, all those gases. But you really, really, really can't tell because it's just around us. So you have a solid, a liquid, and a gas. 
A few months ago when we did this in preschool, we had this picture. And I remember doing a really cool job with this with you. Or you did the cool job. I just gave it to you and you did a great job with it. We found pictures and we cut them out to either be a gas, a liquid, or a solid. If we could look at the matter or the, the particles that make up each of these, the gas would have particles that are pretty far apart. Just like when you boil water on the, the stove, that water has particles pretty far apart. They don't stay together. The liquid has a lot of particles or a lot of matter, but it's not too tight or condensed. So now this one, the solid, is one that is really, really hard. If you tap on the desk or tap on the glass, it's solid. So those particles are going to be really pushed and compact, pushed together. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you some pictures that I have here. And I want to show you that it could be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. When you find the right one, you tell me by calling it out at home, and I'm going to put the clothespin where it belongs. All right. So the first one, water. So if you have water, would that be a gas, a liquid, or a solid? Uh, I think this is fairly easy. This would be a Right. It's a liquid. It's something that comes out of a faucet and you can actually play with. All right. How about the next one I'm going to show you is this one. Now, when you burn these logs, yes, you can get a gas that goes up into the air. But with these logs just being like trees cut down, what would that be? Would that be a gas, a liquid or a solid? So let's see, you are going to pick, if you said solid, you are correct. It's a solid. All right, let's do a few more here. What's this? Now, this is a little tricky because you could be thinking of the water bottle or you could think of the balloon as a solid. You could think of the but uh, the water bottle having water in it, so that could be a liquid. But I think what we're really looking at here is the balloon. What's inside the balloon? The balloon is filled with, is it gas, a liquid, or a solid? I think it is a gas. You got it. It would be a gas. So let's go to another one. I'm picking the ones I like here. Let's see. How about this one? This one is ice cubes. The ice cubes would be a water form. But because they're in the freezer, they would be a gas or would they be a solid? That's correct. If you said solid, you got it. It would be a solid. As they melt, they could be water or they could even be a gas if it goes up into the, to the sky. Here's another one. This one's really cool. How about this one? You have a teapot. The teapot is basically a solid mass, but then look at what's coming out of that teapot. It's not water. It's a gas, correct. The gas is coming out and going up into the sky. And if you remember our lesson on the water cycle, that is when it evaporates, correct. Now, this next one's a little tricky. I like this one, though. If you look at this, this is a pile of sand. So it's soft. So is it a solid or is it a liquid? Or is it a gas? Well, a gas we know would be like invisible. You can't see it usually, right? A liquid isn't really soft. It runs through your hands. So if we know that, then this must be a solid. Even though it's not hard, it still can be pushed together and held in your hands. So that is a solid. All right. How about let's do let's do two more. I like this one. I'll save the best one for the last. So this is our second to last one. This is a balloon. Sometimes people go up in these and have rides and they, they go all over and they can see the countryside and the city. So is that filled with a gas, a liquid, or a solid? I think you're getting pretty good at this. I bet you guessed a gas. So a gas is filling that balloon. And the last one, I saved the last one to be the hardest one. If you're looking at this, you see clouds, you see droplets, which would probably be rain at this point, but it could be snow, sleet, or hail. If you remember back to our water cycle lesson, you can have those stages of water as sleet, hail, snow, or 
like as precipitation. So when you think about those parts of, of our water cycle, what is that then? What are these clouds? They would be filled with water vapor. So that would be a gas. But if it's falling down through the atmosphere to the ground, it would be a liquid. That's correct. So you'd have a liquid. So really today, boys and girls, we learned about the solids, the liquids, and the gases. And it's all called the states of matter. It's what is around us. So go out today, see if you can find solids, liquids, and gases, and say to your mom and dad or your brothers and sisters, hey, I found this. It must be a solid because I can tap on it or I can hold it in my hand. Or it's a liquid because I can pour it over whatever. You can pour it over maybe your hand or pour it over your leg. So that would be a liquid. And the gas would be breathing in that atmosphere and smelling and feeling that you can get the, the air out of the oxygen out of the air. So that would be a gas. All right. So today we learned about the states of matter. Tomorrow we're going to do a really neat experiment. It's going to be a really cool experiment. Some of you may know already what it'll be when you see it, but or what the outcome will be. But we're going to learn about why it happened, why this happened in this experiment. And I won't give that away until tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls.